I'm so excited to say it, but today's video is sponsored by Plant Made. Now, if you don't know who Plant Made are, Plant Made are a UK based brand. They specialize in natural, organic hair care products and beard care products. They're absolutely sensational. I had been using their roots oil for, I want to say, about two years now. I was suffering with seborrheic dermatitis and dandruff issues, and I was really in a need of a oil that wouldn't irritate my scalp whatsoever. And when I gave roots oil a try, I never looked back. All of their products are full of natural stuff that will not irritate your scalp whatsoever and I can attest to that with their roots oil. However, about, I want to say three, four months ago, I was dealing with the process of moving from my family home to moving out by myself. It was a very stressful time and I believe that due to the stress, my locks started thinning out. So because of that, I decided to then buy their inches oil. So their inches oil are for those that, you know, need strength with their hair growth, whether it's hair in your head or your beard. It basically promotes hair growth, thick hair growth, um, opens up what needs to be opened on your scalp so that your hair can do its thing. And what I've been doing is I've literally been mixing these two together. I also put inches into my heritage store rose water, give it a good shake and spritz my hair. And honestly, I'm gonna do an update real soon as to how my hair has been so far. But as you can see, for those of y'all that have been following my previous videos, I don't know if my camera's picking it up, but there's been a massive, massive, massive difference. Like my hair, roots, like from the roots has thickened out quite a bit. Now I've been locked since 2011, right? And with my hair type, my hair at the front grows outside of the lock. It's always been that way, it's never gonna change. I've had trolls on here make disgusting, horrible comments about it, but what I find hilarious is these the same trolls claim to actually watch Yanni the Locologist video. Um, Yanni the Locologist has done videos about this multiple times about there being people whose hair, especially at the front, naturally grows out. Now, I haven't had a retwist since July, and this is just how my hair is. It just naturally it all comes out. Lately, I've decided that I'm gonna retwist a lot less. I'm no longer gonna have my hair styled and I'm also gonna go longer between washes. And I'm currently filming this video on the 4th of September. I actually haven't had my hair washed since when I last got it retwisted, which was in July. Anyway, Plant Maids have so kindly sent me the Rain, which is a shampoo bar, and the Dew, which is a moisturizing conditioning bar. It looks like this. They watched my video, and in, I believe my last little video, I was asking y'all to suggest shampoos that I could use that promote hair growth, healthy scalp, etc. Nobody actually responded, but Plant made saw my video, and they kindly sent me two of each. I've got spare ones here. And today it's gonna to be my first time using it. I'm really excited because you know what? I actually don't normally use conditioning products on my locks. I don't know why that is. I don't know, in my head I just kind of thought maybe I don't really need to. Um, so from time to time I would do like hot oil treatments but it's not something that I consistently do. Anyway, when Plant Made sent me this, they did send me a little bit of information, so with Rain, for example, which is the shampoo bar, it says drench your hair in water and wet the shampoo bar. Rake the bar into your strands and it will quickly create foam, helping you work rain into your hair or beard. When applied on long or thick hair, be sure to split your hair in sections for ease of shampoo. Use twice before rinsing with warm water. Sounds pretty simple, love the sound of that. Um, and with dew, it says, so dew is the conditioning bar, looks like that. It says, drench your hair or beard with water and wet the bar. Gently glide the bar through your hair or beard until the product covers all strands. For longer hair, section your hair, then apply it. Use your fingertips or a detangling tool to work dew into your hair or scalp or beard for 30 seconds. Wait the recommended amount of time and then rinse hair and scalp thoroughly. Sounds very, very simple. Now, before we go into it, because I will be jumping into my shower to actually use it and I'll be giving you my first impressions of the product. 
Um, let me just show you, in fact, let me show you the sh how the shampoo bar looks like. Before I do, I'll just tell you some of the ingredients that are in here for those of y'all that might be interested. So, there is argan oil, there is matcha green tea, there is Moroccan lava and fruit oil amongst many other things. Sometimes I really struggle with the pronunciations of things so I don't want to be like listing 101 items but this is how the bar looks like. It's green. It smells very earthy, really really earthy. So that's the shampoo bar and then with Dew which is the conditioning bar where we at? It contains things such as doo -doo -doo -doo, avocado butter, nigella seed, which is black seed, hibiscus, and what else? Rose petal powder and lavender, right? And it looks like this. Maybe, oh, I'm scared about it crumbling everywhere, but it looks like that. Mmm. Yeah, I like the consistency. So I'm really looking forward to using this. Um, I think it also on here, it mentions that, for example, if you decide to use a scalp massager, basically how to do that. Scalp massagers are a great way to actually promote hair growth. And I'm actually such a hypocrite because I own a scalp massager, which I haven't used for years. So literally when I put this on pause, I'm gonna go and find it. The only time that my locks feel heavy is when I'm washing it. Apart from that, it never does. So, we're gonna get Rain, which is the shampoo bar. How exciting. This is how it looks like. Oh, matches my nose. So, it's green. Ooh. So, I've dampened it a little bit. Then, I'm just gonna. Oh, it lovers really well. Like, literally, as soon as it touches my hair, it's lathered. Wow, that's amazing. Right, because my hair is quite long, I'm just gonna use my hands to do it, put it into sections. So hard when your hair's like really long. I love the smell, honestly. Let me just come close so y'all can see. Ooh. Look at that. Like, when I just now see, wow. I'm so impressed. I believe, like, since my lock journey, this is probably maybe the second time I'm using a soap bar. This, this feels amazing. With my support dermatitis, my problem areas is like here, like my edges. Because I haven't washed my hair in a long time, I just want to make sure that you know, I am indeed getting to as much places as possible. I'll get my scalp. So there's my locks. I've got my scalp massager. I've had this for years. I bought this years ago via Amazon. It's got like different settings. I'm gonna use that. Scalp massager is a great way for you to clean your scalp. It also promotes hair growth as well. Ooh. That feels so good. I am gonna focus that like, towards the front of my hair because I feel like my problematic areas is the front. Especially here where the septum tends to take over. I feel like it's vibrating my brains. 
It's very easy to wash out as well, I can tell. It's recommended to do it a second time. So I'm gonna do just that. I normally, you know, use shampoo twice anyway. There are some people that just use, use shampoo and then rinse it out after the first time. I'm not one of those. I always go twice. So that it's like as soon as you touch your scalp, like one stroke. Y'all see that? One stroke. Crazy. I do actually want it to get into my actual lot. I know there are some people that just wash their scalp and not their actual lock. I'm not one of those. Like I like for everything to get washed. You tend to do it the best the second time around. Y'all can see that? Guys, can y'all see the lather? Now, I know that a lot of you are going to be like, you know, just because a product lathers doesn't mean that it washes well. However, for me, I think it's a psychological thing. I like shampoos that lather. Personally, for me, I like that feeling of it doing what needs to be done. Right, so now we're gonna use the moisturizing conditioning bar called Dew. So it looks like this. Oh, I forgot the instructions. I can't remember if I meant to put it all over my hair. But anyway, I think I will. Hmm, <laughs> that's fine. Just gonna. Dampen it and then Ooh. type of feeling, it feels very different. It feels very moisturizing, I would say. Um it's not it's not leaving leave lava like obviously how a shampoo would. Oh, or maybe I'm wrong. Oh it's doing something. Okay. The instructions where they said if you've got long hair, <laughs> parting it, great advice. So. I'm so grateful that my camera has a monitor, like a screen right at the top so that I can actually see what I'm doing. I do have a mirror, but I placed it at the back because it's gonna get steamy. But... I love how this feels. Honestly, it feels amazing. Like, I feel it in my hand and it's very, I can tell that they've got much needed like essential oils in it. It's amazing. But this is the thing that I find of um, like organic vegan products anyway. I've noticed that my hair and skin just loves it. So for me, I am very keen on going forward using the majority of like organic vegan products in my hair. After all, with my skincare, my main skincare, like my body oil, my body cream that I use is again, from a black owned company and they do they specialize with organic vegan natural products as well and my skin absolutely loves it it's like yes you pay a little bit more you know and i understand that it's not every not everybody has the you know finances to be able to do that which is fair enough but if you do it's definitely worth you investing a little bit extra and what you put into your body and on your hair, on your skin. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's how it looks like. Yeah, so it does 
I won't say, I don't know if the word is louder or up, but you can see that, you know, it's there. It's interesting because it's, it's giving me creamy vibes. I might have to get my mirror just to fully see it, actually. You know, like when you have locks, you get a little bit worried about using certain products. They did actually say to me that a lot of people with locks use uses their conditioning bar as well so that's even why i was open to trying it okay so now i see it's not that it's lathering but like i can literally just see that the product is is in my hair do you know what i mean it feels nice like, i've got to admit it does it feels really really nice um, and as somebody that doesn't use like conditioning products regularly it's like a nice little treat. I want that. Right. Okay. I'm just putting it all the way to the end of my hair. Because there's no point doing something half by. If you're going to do something, do the thing proper. It is recommended to leave this in your hair for 30 seconds. I don't even have a flipping timer. So. This is how it looks like in my hair. Um, it feels like very moisturizing, very creamy. You can tell that they've used oils and things that will be beneficial to your hair, which I really like. Um, obviously my hair is still wet, but I must admit it feels really soft, really, really soft which is nice this feels so good i definitely think 30 seconds is up by right now um my head. right i'm gonna rinse it out now in the next clip i'll be sharing with y'all my thoughts on both of these products so i'm back my hair is nice and moisturized i blow dried it and all of that good stuff my first impressions of using these two products honestly i am absolutely amazed i'm not gonna lie so with the shampoo bar i really love the fact that it lathers um it, you don't have to use that much for it to work obviously i've got a lot of hair so you know i had to really like kind of go in i love the fact that both of these products like the rest of the range organic natural is products that are not harmful to your hair or scalp in any shape or form and it helps to promote healthy hair healthy scalp hair growth amongst many other things would i use this again absolutely i would um i'm actually gonna quickly check to see how much it retails for because i actually don't know how much it is the moisturizing conditioning soap bar called dew wow is all i can say is wow you literally feel your hair instantly feeling nice and soft nice and moisturized as soon as you put it in to the point where obviously as i was putting it on my hair and my scalp some of it was going onto my face and my, my skin and my skin was feeling like really nourished you know sometimes when you wash your hair you feel like your hair's been stripped and it's really dry you don't get that feeling whatsoever when you use these products honestly i'm absolutely amazed and when i finished washing my hair just before i was about to blow dry it so i still use heritage store rose water but what i do now is um i'm pretty sure that my camera probably won't capture it if it could then you'll see that there's a little bit of oil at the top but um i've literally put some of the inches oil into here and then i just shake the bottle and then i spritz my locks and then I obviously combined these two inches and roots oil and put it onto my scalp and then I blow dried my hair. My hair is really long so it never truly dries after a wash but I try to do the best that I can. Um, I just wanted to show y'all like guys, this is basically how my hair is looking like now. As I said, I will do an update video for y'all soon so that you guys can see the difference. But it was the front of my hair that was like really thinning out. And I don't know what my camera is doing. 
But I can honestly say I've been using I want to say the inches and roots oil together. I think it was July 23rd and today is the 4th of September. So I don't know. I'm really bad at maths. I want to say I've probably been using it for about five, six weeks. And honestly, I'm really happy with how my hair is. I'm actually struggling to find um, the locks that work in and out, if I'm being honest with you, because if you look at my actual roots, like my actual roots are in a much, much better space right now. Um, I haven't retwisted my hair since July times. Um, but yeah, honestly, I, this products or these products are definitely doing what needs to be done like I feel like you know can you guys see there's volume you know and that was recently missing basically July times before I started adding um, inches into the mix the volume in my hair was completely missing and also in terms of like retwisting and things like that so I'm due for a retwist I think I have an appointment booked for ending of October just before my birthday and when I go, I'm not going to get my look style. So I've decided that for, for the foreseeable, I don't know how long for, but I don't want to be styling my looks because I feel like styling my looks also contributed to my look thinning. Um, because a lot of my hair grows out of, it, of my looks, like y'all can see, you see all of that here? Let me go like that. You see all of that hair there? Um, what I want to do when I next get my hair retwisted is I would like for a look to be formed here and another one to be formed here. My hair is really soft, so I don't know if they will be able to do that or not. But um, with my locks, I've got so many locks, so, so many locks, yeah? Watch me not be able to find it now that I'm on camera. Oh, here's one. Got so many locks that I've got two heads. In fact, this has even got three. So what I would like for them to do is for them to like maybe cut off this head, for an example, crochet like, you know, crochet this, crochet it in, create a lock there, and create a lock there. Um, just so that I don't have so much hair coming out, like growing out all the time and also I think it will help to give me a better hairline, can't lie. Um, so that's basically my plan but yeah I'm, I literally I can't, I don't like to touch my hair a lot but it's like my hair is looking healthy, my hair is looking very very healthy. I think plant made are definitely worth the coins. Like I said, I understand that sometimes we all wanna go like a cheaper route and if cheaper products work well for you, then by all means continue and do your thing. I'm always a big advocate of different things work for different people. If you find something that works for you, stick to it. However, for me, I've noticed that even when it comes to my skin, like the majority of products that I use for my skin, minus like SPFs and stuff, but the majority of products that I use for my skin are organic, they're vegan, they're natural and I've noticed that my skin loves it the same way that I've noticed that now that I use a lot more vegan, organic, natural products on my hair, my hair, my scalp love it. So that's how I intend to go forward. However, let me know in the comment section below if you found this video useful. Um, what would you try this product? What products do you use that works well for you? Let's get to discussing. And I will do like a proper update in regards to like my locks and you know, it thickening up or how I'm getting on, etc. very soon. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. Until my next one, take care, be good.